Hey everybody, my name is Casey, and today I am actually going to be building my very first expensive vanity item. Now the item I am going to buy, oh, my mistake, the item I am going to buy obviously it has it in the title, it is the Sun Sphere. We all know that particular episode, Bart Simpson rents a car which he got by getting a fake ID driver's license ID to be exact and then they have to choose between Disney World and the Sun Sphere in Knoxville Tennessee probably one of my you know all-time favorite episodes so as I'm scrolling here you'll see that it is 750,000 cash and what's even more crazy about this is that this is actually real well blow me down I had no idea Everything that Milhouse was saying in the book, in the car, in that episode, the 1982 Places to Be book, it was all real. The actual Sunsville in Knoxville, Tennessee was dilapidated. They did, you know, redo it, make it all nice and pretty. But I'm just a stupid moron, I had no idea. I'm sure there's a lot of people in the States who are probably like, holy crap Casey, how the hell did you not know that? I am not from the States, I am from Canada. Do you really think growing up that I would have known about a sun sphere in a place like Knoxville, Tennessee? I didn't even know what the hell Knoxville, Tennessee was. Anyways, this particular building is going to take three days to build. Oh, wow, well, what are you going to do? But I can't wait because this is the only vanity item that comes with a quest. Three days up and three days down. The Sun Sphere is finally done. I love it. It's great just to be able to flip a switch and suddenly poof, it's done. I didn't care for the waiting, but it was worth the wait. I wasn't in any rush whatsoever. So let us do it now. So that's where buildings come from. Sweet. So right off the bat, you might notice that it is, yes, dilapidated. You also might notice two rats with wigs. If anybody remembers the episode, it was actually called the Wig Sphere because it was just loaded with wigs. One quick thing about this particular Sun Sphere as well is that it actually is the cheapest of the, you know, big expensive vanity items. So I really like that. What I'm actually doing now is it actually comes with a quest, which I just previously said. I'm looking for either Nelson, Bart, Milhouse, or... Who the hell's the other guy? Martin? Is that it? Yeah, I don't know. But we got Nelson! <laughs> hey look, it is the Sun Sphere! I thought I knocked that over and broke it when we went to Knoxville, Tennessee. Amazing to think that it was once part of the World's Fair of 1982. The most forgotten World's Fair in history. Let's break into it. Climb to the top and see if we can hear ghosts from 1982 talking about how boring the view was. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. Hmm. Cool. So there goes Bart. There goes Millhouse. There goes Martin. <laughs> and there goes Nelson. So this particular quest, or these quests, are actually permanent. So you can actually send these characters to the particular Sunsphere uh, building. Unfortunately, there's no really, you know, crazy animation with the building, but I mean, at least the characters have quests. That's pretty cool. So you can send them whenever you want. It's all good. And we still have the rats with their wigs on, so that's pretty freaking sweet. Still don't know what to do with the actual building, but I will figure it out as time goes on. Anyways, that is it. That is it for now. This is the first vanity item, the cheapest and the smallest of the vanity items. And I did it all from scratch. I did all of this from scratch. It makes it much more satisfying, 
more rewarding and more fun because I like when there's a certain, you know, goal or a bunch of goals to work towards in a game. You take that all away and then it just gets incredibly boring, incredibly lame, and I just don't care for it whatsoever. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. It is all good. My name is Casey, and I will see you on the next one.